I'm Visual Magi, and here are some of the amazing add-ons I like to use in Blender. Go check it out. Now the first add-on here is Sanctus Library. Now Sanctus Library provides uh, high quality procedural materials, meaning they can be fully customizable. Uh, this plugin is super easy, it comes uh, you know, asset browser ready, uh, and every month you get a new shader and materials. Um, mainly what I use it for is the metals and the floors that it comes with. Um, super easy to use, like I said, and uh, yeah, really an amazing add-on. Now, the next side on here is uh, Polygonic and Botanic. Um, I'm, I have been using Polygonic for a very long time, and it just goes to say that it's become a really essential um, part of my workflow. Whether it be plants, trees, grass, vines, even rocks, um, there's even like, uh, like garden assets, uh, and I always seem to find a use for it. A feature that I really love and have been using more is uh, the animation of the trees and grass. It, uh, yeah, it's really awesome add-on. This next add-on is also polygonic traffic. Now this add-on comes in handy many times during client work and personal use. Uh, not only does it come with a bunch of cars, planes, utility vehicles, uh, but also comes with a bunch of roads, street signs that I tend to use a whole bunch. Um, like, like blimps, some like odd, um, odd types of things that you don't tend to find. So um, yeah, this, this is an awesome add-on also. So this add-on is called Pure Sky. Uh, it's a very fun plugin to use for your environments. Uh, literally one click and you have a sun, sun sky, clouds, volumetrics, um, all in your scene. Um, yeah, it gives you a very realistic feel. Um, and also really partly why I mainly got it is that it works with Eevee and it gives you all the volumes and everything right in Eevee. Not as realistic, but uh, gives you just real time. So um, very handy, very handy to use. So here we have flip fluids. Now by these examples that you're going to see on the screen, uh, you can see why I got this set on. Uh, I know I use it as much as I can um, for the sheer fact that it's fun to use and very simple to use. Um, you, do some ha you do have some advanced features. Um, depending on your machine, the baking is pretty quick in, in my experience. Um, if you're looking for um, you know, just to add some 
fluid sims to your to, uh, just to spice up your animations uh, this would be my go-to for sure Uh, this is Blender Kit, uh, super handy um, add-on. Or uh, like instead of going to a 3D website, and getting your models there, this is right in Blender, like integrated right into Blender. You just type in what you want, it comes up, and you got your asset right there. But not only assets, but you got uh, materials, environments, you got uh, buildings, you even got people. Uh, if you're like me though, um, if there is a there is a free version, which I use, but there also is a, a paid version where you can get you get everything that's that's available. Um, and it seems like they have updates all the time. Um, if I had cash, I'd probably get this, but not this time. But definitely a, a one to have free for sure. Now, Cable Raider. Now, this is a recent one that I have been using a lot. Uh, as you see, just in a few clicks, you get cables. Um, that's very easily adjustable, size and length, a lot of stuff. Uh, in the example you're watching, they're using it as cables, but some of the other uses that um, I find probably could be useful is hair, tentacles, pipes. You know, in my work, I have used it as like a clothesline and then added some physics to make it um, make it dangle and then uh, just like pin each side so, yes it's an, it another add-on it's uh, fun to play with Now this add-on is last, but definitely not the least. This one's called R RBD Labs. Um, now, there's a, a person that I follow who is Raffio VFX. Now he used it in one of his, or he or she used it in one of their uh, posts. And uh, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, man, I gotta get my hands on it. And I've used it several times. Uh, very easy add-on to use. This light, this last update 1.3 that you're watching right now, it really gives it, it gives you like just some amazing tools. It gives you that wow factor in in your project. Now, if you're looking to learn Blender from scratch or have some experience in Blender and want to really advance your skills, here are a few courses that uh, I found that I took myself and I found very handy. Um, 
to advance my, my skills, my animation skills, my modeling skills, and really some of the modifiers I never really knew about. Um, the first one here is called um, Launchpad by CG Boost. Um, as you see, it's the animation that you, that you create um, with the course. Um, yeah, it gives you all the basics that you need. Uh, the next one is uh, by Mantissa called Real-Time Motion Graphics. And here it's a bit more advanced. Um, but you definitely learn a ton of the modifiers that um, come super, super handy, and uh, I use a whole ton in my workflow now. So yeah, definitely follow either CG Boost or Mantissa on all socials, and all the links will to these uh, the plugins or add-ons and courses are below. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, please. Give me a shout, um, comment below if you have, you know, an add-on that you really are looking at and like, hey, this is cool, but uh, don't have the funds, let me know and I'll go check it out and uh, yeah, I'll test it out for you. All right, have a good one. Uh, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. Peace.